with our presentation. Today we are going to do a concrete presentation about animal classification. As the leader of my team, I am going to do to introduce about my group. and category of them. First, we will know about animal classification. Do you know the description about animal classification? Okay, I will tell you. Categorizing animals in a systematic way by considering their common features are we known as animal classification. Okay, basically there are two animal basically there are two animals can be divided into main groups. They are vertebrates and invertebrates. Do you know the description about invertebrates? Okay. Invertebrates are the animals that without backbone. Also, there are four types of invertebrate groups. They are Nidaria, Annelida, Mollusca, and Arthropoda. I think you may like to know about Nidaria's features and their habitats. Nidaria are radial. There are three types of symmetry. They are bilateral, radial, and the pentaradial. Nidaria can be formed two. They are Polyps and Medusa. There is a main point. Polyps uh, can't move, but Medusa can move. Let's check example. Polyps. Hydra, sea animal, coral polyps, and the Medusa are jellyfish or alia. So, I think you may get some knowledge about Nidaria. So, I kindly invite my group leader to do her part. Thank you. Thank you, Nidia, for inviting me. Now, I am going to tell you about Anida group. It is the invite blood group. They are habitats. They are live in both marine and freshwater environments and they are in wet terrestrial environment. They are features. Their body is bilateral symmetrical. And they are warm plants. It is called they have warm light body shape. And they are they have segmented body. We can call them as segmented worms. And some have posterior and injury suckers in such blood. Examples say, Do you know about what is the physical reproductive organ suckers in only animal? I don't know. Natalie can you tell it? Okay, I will tell you. Its name is Slitter. Okay. This is the structure of animal. Mouth, Slitter, Segment Bird and Ant. An example for the animal. Caterpillar, Meat, Millipede, Centipede and other. My part is over. Next time I want to invite my group and the garment to her part. Thank you. Thank you my group leader Nadini for inviting my presentation. Okay, I am going. First, I would like to wish you a very bright full day. My dear teachers, parents and my dear friends, I am going to present about Mollusca and I believe it may improve your knowledge. Okay, do you know where do live Mollusca? Don't worry about that, I will tell you. Mollusca live in terrestrial environment, marine and freshwater environment. What are the features of Mollusca? The features of Mollusca are, they are very symmetrical, soft body is animal, possess a muscular coat, possess his skin much with mucus, some Mollusca's brush are made up of calcium carbonate. My next explanation is, examples for Mollusca. Good morning everyone. Uh, my, I'm Dunigu. First of all, I wish you a happy and great day. And also, I think you all are fine. So today I'm going to be talking about arthropoda. Now you know there are two main groups of animals now. So arthropoda are in invertebrates. Arthropoda is the group which is the highest number of animals below. They live in terrestrial as well as aquatic environment. Both lands and water environment. Okay guys, let's see what are the features of the arthropoda. They are biological symmetrically and some have wings. Uh, 
they have jointed appendages okay let's let's see what are the examples of the arthropoda bees and butterflies ducks etc and let's see body structure of an arthropoda head thorax and abdomen and let's see uh, body body features of the arthropoda eyes and an arvinic jointed appendages okay guys my part is over uh, i think you uh, you get uh, more ideas about the arthropoda so i kindly invite my group members to thank you thank you dumdum for inviting me hey guys i am sadin mehara first of all i wish you a joyful day and I am going to now. I am going to present my part. My part is main vertebrates animals. Do you know what is mean by main vertebrates animals? Okay, okay. Wait. I will tell you. The animals that have in the backbone are called the vertebrates animals. Okay. Animals can vertebrates animals can be divided into four main groups as discus, amphibia, reptilia, aves, and mammalia. Okay, now I am going to explain about piscus. Piscus will adapt it for living water. They can be living both marine and freshwater environment. Okay, some features of the piscus. Process eyes without eyelids. The body is covered with scales. The body structure is systematic body shape. Okay, now I am going to explain some examples for piscus. Blue wing tuna. Salmon fish, tilapia, calf, goldfish. Thank you, the middle. Now I am going to see about body part of a fish. Ventral fins, the scale, caudal fin, mouth of mouth, eye without eyelid. Guys, okay. Thank you, Nikini. My part is over. Next presenter is my friend Uma Shah to do her presentation. Thank you, guys, for your cooperation. Thank you, Sadhini, for your for this great opportunity to give this great great opportunity to me. Today, I'm going to be talking about amphibians and reptilians. So let's first start with amphibians. Amphibians are spend one part of their life cycle in water. and they use both aquatic and terrestrial environments to live amphibians include frogs toads salamanders and etc amphibians live in some amphibians live in water but some are in land and i'm going to talk about some features uh, here some before that let's see some pictures here are some pictures of reptilia So, and let's talk about amphibians. Thank you, Nimasha, for your invitation. Okay. Good morning, everybody. My dear sir, parents, and friends. Today, I'm going to speak about aves group. Habitat: well adapted for flight. Features: first one is have a streamlined body shape with facilities flight. Second one is body is covered with feathers. Third one is use limbs for locomotion. Fourth one is they don't have teeth. Fifth one is scales are present in each area. Sixth one is have a beak adapted for different feeding habits. Okay, now I'm going to show you about the pictures of birds who can fly and who can't fly. Examples for birds that can fly. Blue magpie, magna, and ma minor. Examples of birds cannot fly: kiwi, ostrich, and penguin. Now my part is over. Thank you. Okay, Sunny. Now I am going to talk about mammalia. So I invite my group member Dhani, Dumidu, and Sunny to do this part. Talking about two features of mammalia: feet on mother's knee, and they have mammary glands. Next, I invite to Gayani to to tell another two features of mammalia. Yes, Sanuri. 
third one is possess a ear with ear lock and the last one is uh, mammals have lungs to breathe dumi do you can tell some examples to mammal yes can okay. let's see what are the examples of mammalia lion elephant kangaroo uh, lion giraffe are the examples of the mammalia Goodbye for everyone. Goodbye. Goodbye.